In this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from a viewer here on the channel. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, people do read the comments and it helps other people. All right, I'm going to do my best to read and answer this question. The person's name is Mohammed and the subject is advice. The message reads as follows. Your advice videos have always lifted me up and enabled to have so many helpful realizations. However, I still have doubts about something and was wondering if you could give me some advice. I tend to think that the smarter the student, the less work they have to do. And this has me avoiding to do extra problems that may or may not be helpful in a quiz test. I know that to be able to face difficult problems in a quiz test, I need to be exposed to more problems of varying type and difficulty as preparation. Not doing so has lost me points on exams. So is my assumption about smarter students working less true? Or do all of the highest performing students work beyond assignments and actually work on harder problems in order to prepare for the worst? Thank you. Keep doing what you are doing. You are a great help to many. First, let me, let me say thank you, Mohammed, for your, your message. And so I do have uh, an opinion on this, and this is you know, just my opinion based on just my experience. And that opinion is that generally, um, you know, I've, I've known smart people. Let me just say I've known people that are smarter than me. And uh, you know, I knew one guy who was really, really smart, and he could finish the homework faster than me. I sat next to him, and we both did some mathematics. And he was better than me. He he was faster. And he was on number seven. I was on number two. And it was just like, whoa. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, OMG, you figured those out, man? And he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. He was like, not even like phased. Like, just, you know, just, <laughs> yeah. Just blew through it. Now, he was a very smart guy. Um, he was related to two other um, people who were very smart. I know that. So uh, he had other mathematicians. Uh, in his in his family, so you know maybe he already knew a lot of math. So I don't know, but yeah, I think smarter people they're better at math, and um, you know it, sometimes it just takes them less effort. Now he was better at math. There's a difference between me saying he was smarter than me and he's better at math. So maybe maybe he wasn't smarter than me, but at the point in time uh, when we met, um, he was he was better. I think I caught up to him, you know, after some work. So, but in general, you know, smarter people, you know, they learn quicker and, and they do better. Um, there's a saying that I really like that I think relates to, to your question. And they say, hard work beats talent until talent works hard. Let me say it again. Hard work beats talent until talent works hard. That means that if you work hard, you can do better than people who you think are smarter than you, right? And you won't win when the talent works hard. So if you have someone who's really, really smart and they work really, really hard, then you know, then they're hard to beat. I think it's related to sports, the quote, uh, or bodybuilder. There was some. It's a sports-related quote. A lot of there's a lot of like really interesting, um, you know, sports-related quotes because sports is competitive, right? It's a competitive thing. And maybe that's something you can do. I'm not saying you should be competitive, but one thing I did. You know, because I consider myself to be in the middle. You know, I'm I'm not like the smartest person, but I'm not like bad at math either, right? I feel like I'm I'm average. And what I would do is I would this might work for you. I would always try to be the best in the class because I thought this is the only time in my life I'm taking you know class X Y Z. I got to make this count, right? Like you know. You know, it took a lot of work to get here. Like, this is it. In 30 years, I'm not going to be in college, right? So I might as well make it count, right? This is this is your one shot, right? This is it. This is the, the one time in your life that you're in your class, you know? And so make it count, right? Make it count. So if you aim to be the best, you know, worst case, I guess you're not the best, right? Or you don't do, or you do bad, but it's very unlikely for someone to say, hey, I'm going to study because I want to get the highest grade in the entire class. And that person fails. That's just not a story you often hear because typically people who have that mindset who want to be the best in their class, they're going to work insanely hard. I mean, I worked so hard, right? And I wasn't always the best, 
I remember those times when I wasn't. And I remember the few times when, when I was the best. But yeah, so hard work beats talent until talent works hard. And if you feel you're talented or if you feel you're not talented, that's that's a different um, story. I feel I'm average. That's my feeling on, on that. So, but yeah, that's how it is. This book here. So, oh, if anyone has any advice, please leave a comment in the comment section below for Mohammed. So now I want to show you this book since I have it here. I just got derailed. Sorry. This book here, Real Analysis by Royden. It's got a weird stain on it. I don't know what that is. It's really like, I should probably clean it. I had another copy of this book that was in worse shape than this one. It was really, really old and falling apart. And I actually mailed it to a subscriber here on the channel uh, several years ago. And they lived in India. Uh, they just emailed me. They said they didn't have math books, if I had any spare math books or something. And so I thought, well, I have two copies of Royden. Let me send the book. It's very expensive <laughs> to mail books to India. That's what I learned. I'm like, wow, it was really expensive. I went to, I had to go to the post office. You have to fill out a form because it's overseas and you have to go in person. And so uh, at least then you did. So it was a very expensive and you know, tough ordeal, but hopefully they got the book and hopefully they read the book. Very difficult though, shipping from one country to another. It's It's unfortunate. I collect math books and I'm always trying to get books in Spanish and it's tough because the shipping is expensive. You know, you got to buy them from Spain and stuff. 1968. So this is a graduate level uh, real analysis book. This would be something that if you went to uh, graduate school for mathematics for, say, a master's or a PhD, this would be your first semester right here. This book is okay. I, I, it's it's good. But I like, I like other books better. I like the Fallen book. I like the book by Halmos a little bit better, but this is a classic. It's a good book. I've used this book. Um, yeah. Real analysis. The prereq for this book, I guess, is having a math degree, right? Because <laughs> you take it your first year in grad school, but you want to know how to write proofs. You want to know, you know, a lot of mathematics before you jump into that. So anyways, um, hopefully my uh, advice, Mohammed, has helped you. Just remember, Hard work beats talent uh, until talent works hard. And then how talented you are, uh, that's that's something that I think is really hard to quantify. I mean, even intelligence, right? They have IQ tests, but I don't know. I, ha I have a hard time believing that, um, you know, like just th there's more to it. You know, there's more to it. There's, there's different kinds of intelligence. And so being good at math... Um, you know, that's, that's a product of many things, right? It's a product of hard work. It's a product of some natural ability, but, but there's more to it, you know? And I think a lot of it is about effort, planning, time, a balance. You know, you don't want to burn yourself out all the time and, and not be able to study. So yeah, cool. Well, that's it. If anyone has any advice, leave a comment. Until next time, good luck and take care.